can we just take a moment to appreciate how my skin doesn't like to change up my skincare. I used up my cleanser, used a new one. My skin does not like it. Hi guys, I welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a get ready with me. And the sun just changed the lightning. I'm sorry. <laughs> Natural lightning issues, but soon I will get my artificial, what is it called? Soft boxes. Uh, so the lightning is good again. It's going to be like that, so I'm sorry if it is annoying. It is annoying for me as well, especially when I'm going to edit this. But yeah, but yeah, today we're going to do a get ready with me because I have a few things that I really wanted to share with you guys and share my excitement and I'm just happy at the moment and it is because of these at least two things that I really want to talk to you guys about. So I'm just going to do some very <laughs> neutral makeup I think. It's not going to be anything fancy, it is mostly going to be with the products that I am project panning at the moment because I'm basically panning a whole face of makeup like full glam you know I'm just going to prime my eyes because I always do my eyes before my base makeup so if you're new here hi <laughs> should I have brought a mirror I probably should just a little bit so you can see better but yes the two things that I'm going to talk to you guys about happened kind of at the same time with a few days in between. If you follow me on Instagram you already know these two things but I haven't told you guys here on YouTube yet which is exciting and I, I it's also quite emotional because it has been so stressful to live in and be in in your body. I'm going in with my Morphe palette for uh, with a few shadows and I'm going in with my Dove Summit Enchanted palette with a shadow. Am I going to use this? I might be using some single lady or some shadows in my C palette and some repressed shadows from uh, the MDK Vice 4 palette. So the first thing that I really want to share with you guys is that I got a job. I am so exciting and you can't say that. I'm so excited because Yes, it's for some people it is just a job, but for me it's like the biggest vic victory, can you say that? Victory because I have in the last year or so felt that nobody wanted to hire me for a job. To feel that way in like over a year, that is so hard on your mental health. Why is this? This is so pink. I, the shadow that I'm using is not that pink. Um, oh well. Let's just rock with it. I don't want to take it off. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm just so relieved. And when I got home from that job interview last Thursday, uh, no, I didn't cry right away. But when I told people that, now boss, <laughs> Is said that I should go home and think about what I wanted. She basically told me that they want to hire me and I should think about if I wanted to be there as well. It has happened to me once before that the person that I was in the interview with hired me right away but this just meant more to me because I have been the, in this state of mind that nobody wanted me because I have been applying for a job almost for a full year and I have got I have gotten rejected every single time. I made this Facebook post and uh, uploaded it I can say that, uploaded it into a few groups uh, where they were seeking jobs. You know, I was just so tired of applying. I did apply at the same time, but I was just like, let's just do this. I can't lose anything. I don't have a job. I'm just, I'm just home at <laughs> anyway. So why not just try, try to see if anybody wanted me. And I got, con I got contacted a few times. They were not that serious because I don't live in Copenhagen and they were jobs in Copenhagen. So I couldn't take it seriously because I said in the post that I lived in the other side of the country. Then I got contacted by 
now my boss she said she was seeking an employee for customer service and i was just like well it's a job <laughs> i've never been in customer service and i knew going into this that people that i was going to be talking to in the phone wasn't always nice so i was already prepared that people can be mean because it's over the phone at the and they can't they can't see you basically but i also know myself that i would like this customer service job because i like to help people it's so hard for me to explain this um i knew how i would talk to the people that i got in the phone and i knew how i wanted to be treated myself and that is just something that i live by i would only treat people the way i wanted them to treat me i'm just really really excited about this and the the people that i'm going to work with is from uh, a company called Dale, um, and they are like post office kind of system and they're kind of new to the market and they're really really cool and they are just very down to earth and human and stuff like that when they talk because they don't have this limit with the phone calls you have to deal with the customer in between two minutes they don't have that you can talk to them however long you want to um, so it's the first step of me growing up <laughs> no not really but you know I've never had a full-time job before it has been internships and study jobs and stuff like that in the past but now it this is a full-time job and I'm just really really excited because then I can have a decent income because it has also stressed me out so much that I didn't have the freedom to spend the money that I wanted to spend does that make sense it's not that I am going out to spend a ton of money. Now I'm getting paid a lot of money. Uh, for me it is a lot of money, but for some people it's really not. It has been so stressful because you are in this system in Denmark where you are going to get some money depending on if you can work full-time or part-time. It has been really difficult to be put in a box that really doesn't fit you. To get the money you know every month you have to apply for two jobs a week Ooh. <laughs> okay <laughs> and because i was going to apply these two jobs a week i was getting stressed out about it i don't have anxiety but it was like a trigger for the teeny tiny bit that i have and i wasn't comfortable doing these applications for these jobs because they were out of my comfort zone. When this woman, that is now my boss, she reached out to me, I was just insanely happy <laughs> because then it was so much easier for me to write this application for this job and sending my resume because she already knew a little bit about me and she chose me. So it was just so much easier and Going into the interview, I wasn't really nervous because the same week I actually were, I got like a phone call job interview thing for another customer service job. So I already knew what to say and that helped me a lot. I think I don't, <laughs> I don't like the job interview part at all. Um, that gives me a little bit of anxiety and I get so nervous, but because I already tried it the same week i was nervous which helped me like calm down and being able to be myself into in the interview yes i was a little bit nervous but it was not rooftop nervous you know i'm going to start the job on monday which also means that uh, i need to find a filming schedule for a good period i did five times a week but i don't think i can do that when i have a full-time job because um, it takes so much energy for me, more than the average person to have this job and do this on the side. But they also know how much energy I put into this because it is my hobby and I really, really like doing it. I'm really good at talking and not doing my makeup. Now I am applying my foundation that I'm using at the moment. I am, I take advantage of 
a little bit of a tan that I still have. And this friend of mine is not going to be covered, apparently. And maybe some concealer can help me with that. But yeah, I'm really, really excited about this job and I'm excited to where it will lead me. And because I have been so stressed about this job situation, I haven't been at my best, you know. I haven't been me because my motivation and energy level have been so down. I'm excited to have some energy back again. It's not the best right now though, but... I'm excited to get it back. Going in with some concealer for the parts of my face that the foundation didn't cover. And besides the job situation um, has happened in the last week, we are finally Done. We're done, 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 done with our kitchen. I'm so excited. After this, I think I will record some uh, final clips for the non existing <laughs> video that I want to make uh, for that renovation thingy. It is going to be a video where I mostly just show some. It's mostly going to be a slideshow and maybe a few videos. It has been so intense renovating, making, build, whatever you want to say, build this kitchen because we really wanted to save money and my boyfriend wanted the challenge to do it all by ourselves and I don't know if we want to do that again, if we were able to do it over. When we bought this house we wanted to renovate the kitchen right away because it was just too small for us and we didn't like it and it didn't fit the house so yeah if we were renting the money from the bank we already told them we want to have some more money rented, can you say that, uh, for the kitchen renovation because we really wanted to have that done. That was fine and all and nothing there but we didn't can you say rent money? It really borrow borrow money. Yeah, we didn't get enough money for professionals to do the kitchen. So and that was not the plan either. It, the plan was my boyfriend were going to do it, and we expected that. A lot of our friends and family wanted to help us, and they said they would, and we could just call them. We were expecting a lot of people wanting to help us, and when they came to us asking. We never really got help, so that's why we. it has been taking so long. We didn't expect that it was going to be so much, um, because we were going to put heat in the floor. We didn't know that before we were going to... Um, we didn't know that it would be such much work with the heating in the floor and stuff like that uh, because we didn't know what was underneath the kitchen but we did it and the kitchen is now done and it's just so exciting to cook regular food again oh my god you don't even understand before you have tried it how hard it is not to have a dishwasher not to have an oven and the cooking plate plates um, I don't know what that is called, but pots and pans and stuff like that. Oh my god, <laughs> it has been a challenge, and we were we couldn't cook food. We could make food that was not going to be heat, um, heating up, you know, and uh, prepared at that, in that way. We have used our microwave a lot, and we are going to take a break from tortillas, like wraps and pita and stuff like that so no more of that right now because it has been a lot let's say it like that i really wanted to lose some weight after the surgery and that i had in november and if you knew i got a surgery in november for scoliosis in my spine it was shaped like an s and it was rotating 
around itself and that was a result of me getting it surgery. I was going to get a surgery for that basically and that has been so hard because um, I have not been able to help with the kitchen innovation and all sort of things and I've just been going home in this construction thingy. It has been hard. It has been so hard especially <laughs> Well, it has been hard for both of us. It has not ruined anything about me and my boyfriend's uh, oh, fiance <laughs> is our relationship, but we have argued and been frustrated on the project and we have argued a lot about uh, not being done at the time that we were supposed to and stuff like that and I, yeah. I have been irritated on him not spending the most time, the time that he could on the kitchen. But he needed a break here and there. But in the moment, I didn't, I, I didn't understand why he wouldn't commit. But it, uh, and he's not. Uh, I want to talk about my feelings, uh, type of guy. But I, I know him, and he needed a break. But he didn't tell me, and yeah. My boyfriend just got home, oh, fiance, Fia my fiance just came home and I, my camera was overheating and I thought I was just going to take a, you do my brows off camera because it's not really exciting to see because I just filmed it, fill them in with powder and use a brow gel. They're not perfect but I'm not perfect either so I think that's fine. <laughs> I don't remember what I was talking about, to be honest, kind of conclude any everything. Um, I'm really, really excited about me getting better, me having more energy to do stuff and get a routine into my life again. Because yes, it has been nice to just be home and focus on your... YouTube channel and stuff like that. In my head, I would love to have it as a full-time job. I don't earn any substantial amount to have it as a full-time job. But I also know, I don't know if I could live with uh, not knowing how much money I'm going to make uh, every month. So I guess that is the downside of working on YouTube. So I really like to just have, as a, have it as a hobby and not feeling obligated, can you say that, um, to upload on your channel. Oh, that got intense so fast. Oh, goodness. I don't mind it though. Maybe we should blend that out a little bit. This is how crazy you are going to look like when you're panning <laughs> a teal. <laughs> I either do this combo with my eyeshadow or I just put the teal on top of my lid because I don't know how else to pan this kind of shadow. Yeah, I'm panning the orange and I'm panning the teal. So crazy eye right now, but it is going to look better when I have mascara on. Trust me. <laughs> Is something I miss about working is to have something to get up to, you know, not have the feeling of you waking up and like, oh, okay, now what? <laughs> I don't have anything anywhere to be. Right now I wake up, I lay in bed for way too many hours because I don't have anywhere to be so I can just do nothing but yeah I do my skincare I eat breakfast but sometimes I at least it's not like I sleep in you know so I it's not like I sleep until like it's 10 or 11 a.m. or something I actually wake up at 8 and then I am trying to get motivated to do stuff doesn't always happen especially after I like signed the contract yesterday but I knew that I was going to get the contract um, last Friday and because I I got so relieved and the stress and pressure is like gone my body reacts and now, okay 
now I can relax and then all the pain comes comes and goes into my body and it's really really hard to manage that pain because you can't do anything about it other than work out and just live with it because I'm trying not to take any painkillers because they don't really work on me so it's kind of pointless for me to take painkillers that is also a little bit frustrating to know that they don't work on you but that's my life <laughs> and my current situation is that I really want to film a bunch of videos and have them up at least for the first week in uh, for my job so I know what routine and when I have time to film and I know the first week or two maybe more I'm going to have so much less energy I'm just going to be so tired because I am not in the routine of working full-time if I was going to have a full-time job the week after I ended the internship this spring I think I was I was going to be fine but because I've been without a job uh, or internship for like two months or something three months even I think July, August, September, yeah three months I'm not in that routine anymore and that is hard oh yeah and if you're curious why I couldn't stay at my internship and why they couldn't hire me where I worked in the for the brand it was like a new section to the brand so they didn't have the money or the room for me to stay there they could make room for me temporary but not full time so that is why I couldn't stay there I miss it I do they were amazing people and it was so nice to work at EG but I'm also excited to have the experience that I had and try something new and this customer service job is going to challenge me personally I love to help people but I'm kind of an introvert so I hate I don't hate it I, I don't feel the most comfortable at speaking in the phone but when you are in customer service you are kind of anonymous so they don't know you so I I think I can just let that part of me go feeling uncomfortable because I just want to help the people that is calling you know does that make sense I hope so um, so yeah I love the challenge and maybe because of this job I actually feel comfortable talking in the phone because right now I prefer to text people and that is maybe also why I don't do a lot of talking stories on Instagram I mostly just take a picture and write <laughs> I don't really talk I, I have been better about talking on my Instagram and I want to be better because you can just see a little bit more about the person and I think it is it's more interesting to see you can't see anything beautiful What a great place to get a breakout. Just on your lip. So that was the lip twister in champagne from 37. I forgot to highlight my eyes, so let's just do that before I going to remove the mascara dots all over my face. That is the makeup. Let me go remove my mascara dots and let us finish this video because it's getting too long now so that is all for this video guys I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed me rambling a little bit I really just needed to get some things out of my chest you know I was a little bit nervous to film it because these types of videos don't really get that many views on my channel so I really hope you guys enjoyed it 
So yeah, if you're new here, please subscribe down below. I do not a lot of get ready with me's, but I do a few pattern looks and looks in general. Palo Bingo's project pants is the main thing. And I really like to talk about makeup and a kitty apparently. Hi Scat, come here. So yeah, <laughs> that was Felix, my kitty. That guy right there. He's cute, but a troublemaker. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until my next one. Please take care.